Now, new developments in the murder of Heather DeWild, her husband Daniel DeWild, reaching a plea deal this afternoon, pleading guilty to second degree murder. Seven News reporter Lance Hernandez live at the Jefferson County Justice Center. And Lance DeWild admitted hitting his wife on the head. And when a judge inside that Justice Center asked Daniel DeWild if he hit his wife on the head and put a rope around her neck, he said yes. That answer stunned Heather DeWild's family. He's just not the type of person that will accept responsibility for his actions. Heather's father, David Springer, says he's grateful this case has been resolved and that Daniel DeWild will spend substantial time behind bars. DeWild admitted killing Heather in his garage. Her body was found in Clear Creek Canyon. Today's plea agreement, when coupled with guilty verdicts on conspiracy and accessory, carry a sentencing range of 72 to 75 years. Getting Daniel De DeWild to admit that he killed Heather DeWild. That's huge, huge for the family. So I think that the sentencing range is appropriate based on those circumstances. It's been a nightmare. And the defendant's sister-in-law, Mary Roseanne DeWild, was initially charged as a conspirator in the case, but her charges were dropped. I asked her if Daniel DeWild encouraged her to cover up the crime. He didn't encourage me to do anything. Family members remember Heather as a shy woman with a good sense of humor. They say today's plea agreement is a gift that will spare them sitting through another trial. I didn't think that it would happen, that he would admit in any way that he was guilty. So this is definitely a good day for our family. This is um, good news right before a good holiday. Now, the judge accepted that plea agreement and told DeWild that his sentence for second degree murder will be served consecutively, consecutively with the sentences for conspiracy and accessory. He will be sentenced on February 28th. In Jefferson County, Lance Hernandez, 7 News.